Hi everyone, this is Mo Arashid from Sky Driving Team, London, UK, Great Britain. Uh, with you, again, with uh, one more educational video to help as many people like you to drive safely and pass UK driving theory and practical tests first time. With regret to say that, currently UK Great Britain pass rate for theory and practical of car test is lowest I am ever come across. I've been approved driving instructor since 2003 and with passion and motivational I can say that I have helped thousands of my students in London region to make them pass first time their theory and practical test. I love to help everyone in the country, but unfortunately to, it's not possible to do it one-to-one, -one, but with the platform of this YouTube channel, now it can be possible. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Today mock test video, I have completed a 50 official questions and answers from the DVSA question bank. And I'm very positive to say that after completing this, theory test with me your ability to drive and understanding the theory and getting ready for the theory to pass on actual theory day will be ease and confident i'm not scaring you that the pass rate is low but i'm telling you it is very very easy to pass if you completed a five video of my mock test which is the theory and the hazard perception each of them and uh I can say that with the confidence and with the surety and the guarantee that you able to pass your actual test first time. In this mock test, I have bring with you uh, 50 questions, which is completely covering uh, attitude of your driving, same time, all the crossings, different, different approaching and the ability to respond to the signs, which is including road marking in front of the school, all the road markings as well. When you're approaching to a meeting situation, a narrow road and a motorway lights, motorway uh, approaches, motorway lane closure, uh, hard shoulder. Uh, same time when you drive on an urban road, the question will be, how do you deal with the hazard when you are dealing with the horses, a tractors or a cyclist when you open road pass by? What are the legal things which you need to keep it in your car? Documentation. Quite a few uh, intensive questions bank in this mock test I am covering with you. 50 questions are the last five questions they are based on a scenario or a situation base which you need to listen all the questions very carefully and the same time the answer there are four multiple choice answer you need to choose one there are two normally answers are very close to each other but as long as you remember the correct question you are asking the answer it will easy to choose and i will complete it with you one by one uh, in this particularly mock test uh, there are two questions which i have a feeling and i have come across with my other student they find a difficulty to answer them and majority of them they answer wrong so by purposely spitefully and i have answered them both of them wrong uh select a wrong answer which you can see them at the end of this video mock test that the, what are the two questions are which you need to memorize them and remember them at the end of this you will see the complete test result right at the end of the video i will share with you one of the mock one of the best app which you can download on your mobile devices which is android and ios which i've been using this app uh since 2003 and uh, i have not a single student who have difficulty to pass this uh mock test with and the theory actual day I've been using this great, I will say absolutely fantastic app since I've been a proof instructor. And uh, I can give you a guarantee that you'll pass. So end of this video, you will see that and download it. Anything you want me to make a video purposely for the theory and the practical, please do share with me. Like, subscribe uh, this channel and uh, let's go towards to today's mock test. You're driving on a clear night. Which lights should you use if the national speed limit applies and there's a steady stream of oncoming traffic? Side lights. 
Fog lights Full beam headlights Dipped headlights Which is the most vulnerable road user? Motorcyclist Car driver Lorry driver Tractor driver Which type of sign tells you what you must not do? Which vehicles aren't allowed to use the right-hand lane of a three-lane motorway? Motorcycles Motorcycle and sidecar outfits Vehicles towing a trailer Small delivery vans What should you be aware of if you've just passed this sign? You can't stop on this road. All traffic is going one way. This is a single track road. Only one lane is in use. What should you expect if you see this sign ahead? The road will go steeply downhill. The road will bend sharply to the right. The road will go steeply uphill. The road will bend sharply to the left. You want to turn right at a box junction. What should you do if there's oncoming traffic? Wait before the junction until it's clear of all traffic. Drive slowly into the box junction when signaled by oncoming traffic. Wait in the box junction if your exit is clear. Drive on, you can't turn right at a box junction. What does this sign mean? Ancient monument ahead Low bridge ahead Tunnel ahead Traffic danger spot ahead What does this sign mean? Vehicles may not park on the verge or footway. Vehicles may park fully on the verge or footway. Vehicles may park on the right-hand side of the road only. Vehicles may park on the left-hand side of the road only. What does this sign mean? No parking No through road No road markings No entry
What should you do before starting a journey in foggy weather? Have a caffeinated drink. Reduce your tire pressures. Wear a high visibility jacket. Allow more time. You arrive at the scene of a motorcycle crash. The rider is injured. When should their helmet be removed? Always straight away. Always, unless they are in shock. Only when it's essential. Only when the motorcyclist asks. You're driving towards a zebra crossing. What should you do if a person in a wheelchair is waiting to cross? Wave to the person to cross. Wave to the person to wait. Be prepared to stop. Continue on your way. What should you do when you're overtaking a horse and rider? Go past slowly and carefully. Flash your headlights as a warning. Go past as quickly as possible. Sound your horn as a warning. You wish to tow a trailer. Where would you find the maximum nose weight for your vehicle's tow hitch? In your license documents. In the highway code. In the vehicle handbook. In your vehicle registration certificate. How much can stopping distances increase in icy conditions? 10 times 2 times 5 times 3 times Which vehicle should you allow extra room as you overtake them? Road sweeper Tractor Bicycle Lorry On a vehicle, where would you find a catalytic converter? In the air filter. In the fuel tank. On the cooling system. On the exhaust system. Why is traveling in neutral for long distances, known as coasting, bad driving technique? It will make the engine stall. The engine will run faster. It will cause the car to skid. There won't be any engine braking.
When will your vehicle use more fuel? When its tires are underinflated. When its tires are overinflated. When its tires are new. When its tires are of different makes. You're turning right onto a dual carriageway. What should you do before emerging? Position your vehicle well to the left of the side road. Make sure that you leave enough room for a vehicle behind. Stop, apply the parking brake and then select a low gear. Check that the central reservation is wide enough for your vehicle. You're driving on a motorway and have to slow down suddenly due to a hazard ahead. How can you warn drivers behind of the hazard? Flash your headlights. Switch on your hazard warning lights. Sound your horn. Switch on your headlights. What does this traffic sign mean? Danger ahead. Tires liable to punctures ahead. Slippery road ahead. Service area ahead. When should you use hazard warning lights? When warning oncoming traffic that you intend to stop. When you're double parked on a two-way road. When your vehicle has broken down and is causing an obstruction. When your direction indicators aren't working. Why should you switch off your rear fog lights when the fog has cleared? To prevent dazzling drivers behind. To stop draining the battery. To allow your headlights to work. To stop the engine losing power. Why should you switch? What must you do if poor health affects your driving? Inform the licensing authority. Inform your local police. Avoid using motorways. Always drive accompanied. There are objects hanging from your interior mirror. Why could this be a hazard? Your radio reception might be affected. Your windscreen could mist up more easily. Your sun visor might get tangled. Your view could be obstructed. Your car gets a puncture while you're driving on the motorway. What should you do when you've stopped on the hard shoulder? Use an emergency telephone and call for help.
Only change the wheel if you have a passenger to help you. Try to wave down another vehicle for help. Carefully change the wheel yourself. What's the nearest you may park to a junction? 15 meters, 49 feet. 10 meters, 32 feet. 20 meters, 66 feet. 12 meters, 39 feet. What does this sign mean? Waiting restrictions apply. National speed limit applies. Clearway, no stopping. Waiting permitted. What should you do when leaving your vehicle parked and unattended? Lock it and remove the key. Park near a busy junction. Leave the left indicator on. Park in a housing estate. A police car is following you. What should you do if the police officer flashes the headlights and points to the left? Stop immediately. Pull up on the left. Move over to the left. Turn left at the next junction. Why are place names painted on the road surface? To restrict the flow of traffic. To help you select the correct lane in good time. To prevent you from changing lanes. To warn of oncoming traffic. You arrive at the scene of a crash where someone is bleeding heavily from a wound in their arm. Nothing is embedded in the wound. What could you do to help? Apply pressure over the wound. Dab the wound. Walk them around and keep them talking. Get them a drink. When should you use the right-hand lane of a three-lane dual carriageway? When you're overtaking or turning right. When you're turning right only. When you're overtaking only. When you're using cruise control. Why could it be dangerous to keep the clutch down, or select neutral, for long periods of time while you're driving? Fuel spillage will occur. You'll have less steering and braking control. 
It will wear tires out more quickly. Engine damage may be caused. What should you do when you're approaching traffic lights that have been green for some time? Maintain your speed. Be ready to stop. Accelerate hard. Brake hard. You're driving in busy traffic. You want to pull up just after a junction on the left. When should you signal? It would be better not to signal at all. Well before you reach the junction. As you're passing or just after the junction. Just before you reach the junction. You're going to turn left from a main road into a minor road. What should you do as you approach the junction? Swing out to the right just before turning. Keep just left of the middle of the road. Keep well to the left of the road. Keep in the middle of the road. Why is it important to make full use of the slip road as you join a motorway? Because there's space available to turn round if you need to. Because you can continue on the hard shoulder to allow you direct access to the overtaking lanes. To allow you to fit safely into the traffic flow in the left-hand lane. You're waiting at AT junction. What should you do if a vehicle is coming from the right, with its left indicator flashing? Wait until the vehicle starts to turn in. Pull out before the vehicle reaches the junction. Move out slowly. Move out and accelerate hard. You need to top up your battery with distilled water. What level should you fill it to? The top of the battery. Just above the cell plates. Just below the cell plates. Halfway up the battery. What does this sign mean? Pass either side to get to the same destination. Turn off at the next available junction. Give way to oncoming vehicles. Approaching traffic passes you on both sides.
What's a cover note? A document issued before you receive your driving license. A document issued before you receive your MOT certificate. A document issued before you receive your insurance certificate. A document issued before you receive your registration document. When may you overtake another vehicle on their left? When a slower vehicle is traveling in the right-hand lane of a dual carriageway. When the vehicle in front is signaling to turn left. When you're in a one-way street. When approaching a motorway slip road where you'll be turning off. Safety margins. It's the last day of term, and Ben is driving home from university. He is using minor roads to get to the motorway. It is a windy day. It's dry, and visibility is good and there is heavy traffic on the motorway. Ben is driving at 70 mph, keeping a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Checking his mirrors, he notices that the car behind is following too closely. Nearing his destination he then turns off the motorway onto minor roads, the first of which is a steep downhill slope. Arriving home, he then finds there are no parking spaces on the drive, and has to park outside on the road, facing downhill. In windy conditions, Ben will need to take extra care when using the brakes, turning into a narrow road, making a hill start, Passing pedal cyclists. In good conditions, what is the typical stopping distance at 70 mph? Mark one answer. 73 m, 240 feet. 53 m, 175 feet 60 m, 197 feet 96 m, 315 feet In heavy motorway traffic the vehicle behind Ben is following too closely. How can he lower the risk of a collision? Move on to the hard shoulder and stop. Operate the brakes sharply. Switch on his hazard warning lights. Increase his distance from the vehicle in front. Ben is about to go down a steep hill. To control the speed of his vehicle he should Select a low gear and use the brakes carefully. Select a low gear and avoid using the brakes. Select a high gear and use the brakes firmly. Select a high gear and use the brakes carefully. When Ben is parking facing downhill, which of the following should he do? Turn the steering wheel towards the curb. 
Turn the steering wheel away from the curb. Park with two wheels on the curb. Park close to the bumper of another car. A police car is following you. What should you do if the police officer flashes the headlights and points to the left? Stop immediately. Pull up on the left. Move over to the left. Turn left at the next junction. When should you use the right-hand lane of a three-lane dual carriageway? When you're overtaking or turning right. When you're turning right only. When you're overtaking only. When you're using cruise control. Congratulations, all of you completed a 50 questions and all of you answered a 50 out of 50. Well done for that. Some of you found it a little bit difficult and trust me, after these 50 questions, all of yours, all of me, in every single of you, your knowledge has increased. And these are the questions which you have covered. They are quite hard and a bit tricky. Let's come towards to this uh, special uh, clip which I'm making and adding for you at the end of this video. Driving Test Success is a, one of the best app in the market in the UK Great Britain which you can download and practice official questions from the DVSA for the UK car theory test. In this you will have uh, activate the pass guarantee and you will get the money back if you are not successful. You have to follow the criteria they give you five mock tests consisting you have to pass. All the practice questions are here with the one click. Each categories you go through it and completed all the questions one by one. After that, you can take a mock test, the same mock test which I have done it now, which you can see it. All those questions, they are exactly questions, including a scenario or situation based at the last five questions you will get in your actual theory day. Same time, the questions which you want to search afterwards, if you think is, uh, you need to practice more, you can type in the questions will come up. Or while you are reading or are doing a mock test or a study and you can uh, save your questions, which comes in a my question, which will give you a whole list of the questions which you like to read again. There will be those your questions and they will be there for you till you complete confident and release them from the my questions list. Then after that, at the drop down, you will see a progress monitor. It will keep your progress individually for the every mock test. The areas which you are reading, like a practicing categories by categories, will give you a feedback and tells you where you are stands. Underneath, you will see a stopping distance. Every one of us finding a difficulty to find a stopping distance because this is the calculation, a mathematic which you do hit, or you can memorize it based on the speed 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 miles and a stopping distance in a rain or a dry condition as well. Same time, it'll give you help and support. This is the app I've been using since 2000. Actually, this is uh, I've been using since 2003, but it was in a CD room and I used to give it to my students to practice and pass. Uh, I've been instructed since 2003 and, and this app, uh, it's changed it from CD-ROM to an app. Now everybody can download to into their Android or iOS phone. 
uh, I want to help all of you, every single of you, every single of the person in the UK, Great Britain, to pass the TU test first time. Uh, I cannot go and find everyone because I have a limited of time myself to teach everyone. So please spread this word and sp share this video, like this video, subscribe and click on the channel and click on the bell icon so you will get the all new notifications or new videos regularly. I'm making a video on a regular basis and you will get them. I'm on a mission to help as many as people to pass theory and the practical test for the UK Great Britain. So please help me and share this video. See you in the next video. Till then, you look after yourself and Lord of this universe bless you with a lot of love, happiness and success. Amen.